Welcome to Stave Draws. This is the Procreate Manual, Part 35. Procreate 3.2. What's new? PSD Import. Import your layered PSD file to seamlessly move between your desktop computer and Procreate. Procreate will preserve locked layers, layer groups, and more. Compatible filters and layer blend modes are all imported. Vector and text layers are rasterized and imported. Keyboard shortcuts. Access an array of advanced features instantly by pairing any compatible keyboard. Make sure Bluetooth is switched on. Tap to pair this keyboard with iPad. Connecting a keyboard. Procreate's keyboard shortcuts are usable with any connected keyboard. Just connect any compatible keyboard via Bluetooth or the iPad Smart Connector to start using keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard Layout Instantly access Eyedropper, Undo, the Color Wheel and more. Procreate's keyboard shortcuts are based on existing standards in other illustration software. To see a map of these shortcuts in Procreate, just hold the command key. Layers The layer structure in Procreate 3.2 has been changed. You now have primary and secondary layers. Primary and secondary layers. Painting, smudging and erasing will always happen on your primary layer. If you have multiple layers selected, any selection or transform action will affect all selected layers. Adjustments and filters cannot be used with multiple layers selected. Cut and copy actions will also only apply to your primary layer. Layer selection. Procreate has two kinds of layer selection, primary and secondary. Tap any layer to make it your primary layer. Swipe a layer from left to right with one finger to make it a secondary layer. You can only have one primary at any time, but you can select as many secondary layers as you like. Pro tip. Tap the delete button in the top left of the layers pop over to delete all your selected layers at once. Layer Groups Combine layers into groups to keep them organized. Create a group by dragging a layer and holding on another layer until the thumbnail is highlighted. Then release. Pro tip You can also make a group by selecting multiple layers and tapping the group button in the top right of the layers menu. Selecting Groups You can select a group as your primary or secondary selection. Selecting a group as a secondary selection will behave the same as if you'd selected every layer in that group. If you select a group as your primary, then all selection and transform actions will apply to all the layers in the group. But you cannot paint, smudge, erase or use adjustments and filters. Pro tip. Use the arrow on the right of the group thumbnail to expand or collapse the group at any time. Moving layers. Rearrange layers with a tap and hold. You can also easily move multiple selected layers or layer groups all at once. To change the order of the layers, hold the layer or group and drag up or down. Release to set the new order. Pro tip. Dragging layers onto another layer until the thumbnail is highlighted, then releasing will combine the layers into a group. Layer Visibility Toggle the visibility of a layer or group by tapping the checkbox. If a layer is hidden, it cannot be drawn on. If you try to draw on a layer that's hidden, you'll be notified via a simple dialog. Blending and Opacity Artists familiar with desktop painting will be at home with Procreate's many blend modes as well as the simple opacity slider. 
Black notes are based on old photographic and new digital techniques to add interesting effects to an image. To change the blend mode, tap the small letter on the right of each layer. For the new layer structure, some things have changed. You can now use alpha lock by swiping with two fingers from left to right, and then you make your alpha lock active. The reference layer is now uh, next to your, uh, when you tap on your layer, you see uh, a pop-up menu and there you see a reference layer. There's also another cool feature and that's uh, one that I really like and that's lock layer. So if you swipe from right to left, you can lock your layer. And that's also great, you know, if you don't want to draw on a layer then now you can lock it. And it also applies to groups. The replay button you now can find under video and there it's called time-lapse replay. And you already see that some things have changed and you can now start a, a screen capture and then you can record everything from your iPad and then make a movie out of it. And if you're doing tutorials or want to explain something and see the entire menu of Procreate, that's a great new feature. And you can select the microphone and the camera and then it will use the camera of your iPad. And if you don't want that, because most of the time you're just drawing flat and you don't have that flattering position when you're um, filming yourself underneath then you see all the chins but it's a great new feature so maybe you can use it uh, while filming yourself while you're drawing up right the other great feature is that you now can start a live broadcast right from your ipad so you have to tap start live broadcast and then you get a pop-up with uh, extensions like Shoe, MoBrush or Periscope. And these are third-party um, apps you need to install on your iPad. And you also um, need to log in to your account. So these are uh, the first three extensions uh, that will support the broadcast in Procreate. And more will follow. So I chose Periscope and here I uh, do my first broadcast and it's also linked with your uh, Twitter account. So maybe in the future I will do uh, live streams of broadcasts of working in Procreate. Um, and this was the first test I was doing. So overall it's a very good update of Procreate 3.2. If you want to see more videos like this, go to my playlist of the Procreate manual and I'll leave a link in the description box down below or you can press on the I and then you go straight to the playlist and there you see all the videos about working in Procreate. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles! Hello, this is Steve Draws. I'm Steve, a Dutch illustrator and animator, and this is just a test in Procreate 3.2. And now you can broadcast from out of the drawing app uh, for iPad and iPad Pro, which is called Procreate, and this is version 3.2. So this was just a test, and maybe I will do some other videos and streaming through uh, Periscope. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!